Hey team, it's day 63. I hope you guys are doing great. This is my second run through of this video. I actually had an awesome one done and I forgot to plug in uh, my mic again. So the sound was absolutely garbage. So I thought I'd uh, reshoot it and walk through something that I think we need to discuss, but we've discussed it a little bit before. Another red day. Now what? Oh my goodness, look at this stuff beside me. Not a good day in day 63, okay? So I wanna roll through this a little bit, but also wanna talk about just basing off what we did last time when you have a red day, what do you do? And you guys know that I got 90 days, an aggressive goal, and two pounds a week, 26 pounds, uh, you know, a little bit even more, and are you gonna be able to hit it with another red day, especially as big as this one is? 21, 217.8 today, right? It's day 63, day 64, day 65. I wanted to be around that 214 mark. Three pounds over that, almost four. Let's say four, right? Let's just, let's be honest, say four. That's two weeks worth of weight according to, you know, what that average two pounds are. Um, also, I ate 3,328 calories yesterday. Why? <laughs> only got 80 ounces of water, only got six hours of sleep, 20 minutes of activity, and only 140 grams of protein. So, Finally got 560 calories, where did that other 2750 come from, right? Carbs and fat. So when you think about, it's like, what in the hell is going on here, Richard? Well, the six hours, I woke up to my daughter this morning, I got home super late from travel, and I don't mind waking up to her, asking me questions, smiling, it was nice to see her. Uh, hadn't seen her in a few days, and um, so that's not a big deal. 20 minutes, I was just in meetings all day, and got to the airport, and you think you're gonna walk a whole lot, but based on where my flight was taken off and stuff, uh, and you just didn't, didn't get any activity. Uh, and then you say, well then, why the 3328? You know what? I was hanging around, um, when you hang around people that you super really, really, really enjoy, super and, and super supportive of you in every aspect of your life, but yet when you're doing one of these goals and, and, and they essentially are as well, uh, always working towards being your best self, right? But in the same sense, when you're just enjoying company and you just, sometimes you just let go. So let's talk about what happens when you have the red day, okay? So first and foremost, it's like, hey dude, what, why the 300 to 300 calories? Well, I'm gonna put my red, my red down. I've never actually held just that. I think I just held that only red one time, but so the first thing, we'll do it in pink. like. What happened? Well, I didn't plan. Plain and simple, didn't plan. And what do you mean by didn't plan? I didn't, I didn't take out my calorie counting app and actually plug stuff in like I normally do when I eat. Just didn't do it. Uh, when you eat at, when you go out to eat and you go out to eat at nice places and, and, and food that you really wanna try, uh, you know what, you could just, throw stuff out the window. And I threw my normal habit of tracking and stuff out the window. I thought about it, but then I'm like, you know, no, whatever, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I can, I can handle this, I'm gonna enjoy myself. You know, so what happened, you didn't plan two, is uh, you didn't hit, I didn't hit focus on even one of the trifecta. You know, I, I honestly was, was thinking I was gonna get that, the full sleep. But I mean, I didn't, that 80 ounces of water, when you're traveling to the airport, I had my water packed and ready to go, and it was a water bottle, you know, a 33 ounce, 34 ounce water bottle or whatever. But you can't take it in the airport, threw it away. Went to go sit down to eat. <laughs> didn't think about it again. Kinda just let it go, didn't plan it. Didn't focus on even one of the trifecta. You know, and the last thing I wanted to talk about is, I didn't, I didn't calculate the impact of my choices. What does that mean? Because sometimes we make some bad choices and they have some pretty decent consequences on us, whether it's our personal, professional, business life, you know, a personal goal like this. Uh, it's day 63, I, I was really looking forward to seeing 214 
after I got back from my travels and stuff, cause I was going to be super tight and everything. I know that I changed up my workout, uh, which I'm still sore from, but I loved it. Uh, change up my workout, flying, dehydrate you. So my body is, you know, curing or healing its muscles. Didn't have as much water. I literally ate four or five times as many carbohydrates. So I know I'm retaining water. Uh, and, but I mean, honestly, I'm two weeks behind, technically two weeks behind. What could I do here? So the, the, the impact is, my goodness, that scale doesn't look good. That's why we don't freak out too much on the scale, but there's, you have two options, right? So I got one in my pocket here. So we're gonna go with two options. At this point in time, when I'm four weeks away, I have two options. And they're basically pretty simple. There we go. Number one is get back after it. And if you remember, this will be similar. And if you guys didn't watch the first one where we talked about a red day, it was a similar process. But get back after it. 60 days, I've come down. I think I started at 232.6 or 8. So basically, you know, when you look at that 15 pounds, you know, still even with all that re water retention and everything and what that scale said this morning, still down 15 pounds, 60 days. I think the proof of concept is there. So what we've been doing, it's been working. So I'm just going to get back after it. Knowing that if things go the way they say, that 206 should still be possible. Maybe, maybe not, right? And if, if I get it, it's going to be because I followed the system and kept going. If I didn't get it, it's because the red days that I had were too much and weren't calc and I didn't calculate the impact. But I could get back after it. The second option, is this a good color? No, nah, I don't like that color. The second option we have is, is I could quit. There have been many moments in my life. Actually, you know what? Most of my failures in my life have been because I've quit before I've hit the goal or I haven't followed through. And that's just me being vulnerable. And I'm not afraid to admit that stuff anymore. I used to be, but man, based on some of the things that have happened in my life, I am not a perfect individual standing up in front of you and nor do I claim to be. But I've made enough mistakes to know what works and what doesn't work. And what doesn't work is quitting because then this and everything you've been doing the 63 days it goes away. And you know what? Sorry, my microphone's slipping down a little bit. But the, the other thing is, is that what are you going to do? What are you going to do if you quit? You going to start a new goal, get 63 days through the next goal and hit a couple red and quit again. How many times in your life, if you be honest with yourself, have you had this situation come up? You looked at it, you did a quick calculation. You're like, yeah, it's not that important to me anyway. Or it was important, but since you weren't going to make it, you made excuses that it wasn't that important to you, and then you just let it roll. But then two, three years later, you're like, damn, I should have did that. Man, I should have done that. Instead of just owning what your mistakes were and potentially changing the mechanism, changing the mindset, getting back on, and keeping that goal in mind, being like, that's what I want. That's what I'm going to do. Man, it's been 20 years since I've been at that way. How many times do you think over the course of time when I've thought of that goal, that I've done this. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I have options right now. I have options. I can get back after it and I could quit. And in the end, when I hit this 90 days and the end of it, wherever I end up, it's going to be because of my actions. It's going to be because of my choices, not because of the system. It's going to be because of how I worked the system, how I planned. And that's truly being in a responsible mindset. Being accepting of the choices that we make gives us the results that we have. Uh, it's funny when um, the guy I know, Todd Campbell, he's super, has been su super influential for me lately in my life. And, and uh, I remember the first time I sat in front of him as he, he talked to a group of us, he said, you know, if we look at all the problems in our lives, uh, what's the, the common variable in them all? this guy, you know? So when I think about this and what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, you know, I had another red day and it's, it, this is completely red and I have all these excuses in the world, but I'm going to own my choices. I chose this. Even though I didn't quite plan it, I chose 
to eat what I wanted to eat. I chose to sit back, relax, and say, that's not going to be that big of an impact. I chose that, and I was wrong, right, based on the impact. But it, I'm not, this isn't a woe is me story or whatever, but how many times when you ask yourself, have you gotten to this point where I'm at right now, exact moment in time, in one of your goals, like I said, I don't care if it's personal, I don't care if it's professional, uh, but if it's a group goal, if it's something you told people about, if it's something you didn't, how many times have you got to this point and been like, yeah, yeah, it's not worth it. I don't want to work that hard. It's, it feels too hard. It can be hard to get back there. I know I've done it a lot. This isn't a time that I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to push, continue to get down. Like I said, I think the proof of concept is there. I think the reason why I did this is to show that Weight loss doesn't have to be something super complicated. It can be things that we already know in our life and just have to make adjustments to get there. And if we choose to make those adjustments to be accountable to our calories, be accountable to our sleep, be accountable to the amount of hydration we have in our life, you should have a pretty healthy, long life. Uh, as long as you start early enough. You get too late in life, it's, it's tough to catch up after some of that damage and has already been done. But I'm rambling a little bit now and I'm going to stop. Let's keep going jump back into it. And most of you out there are probably like, well, Richard, I can't believe you did that. Well, don't judge me either, right? It's okay. Actually, you can judge me. I, I did mess up. Uh, I will take accountability for that, but I will get there. We'll get to our goal. We will do this. I will do this. Uh, so that's what I wanted you to ponder tonight. Even though you had another red day, if you did have another red day, when I had it, hey, you got options. Well, I messed up. I can quit or I can keep going. I know that I've been on that quit side or non follow through side for most of my goals that I kind of let fall because they weren't part of like my larger picture of, of chasing down, I don't know, whatever it might be. So anyway, I appreciate all your support. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. If you want some video content in the future specific, I know we're gonna go over a a couple things. I, somebody brought up calorie density again. We might go through a few more of those, but let me know. I'd rather do something you want to see rather than uh, something that I come up with. Uh, other than that, I appreciate your support. And as always, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Thanks again.